when you've got your list, and there's possibly more than you want to query, we'll talk about how to decide that in a minute, how do you decide of all, from all the information that you have who to actually pick? Of course, they have to be open to queries. Just like I said, I wasn't. I, you can't send it to me if I'm not open for queries. You can't have it just sit in my inbox and wait for me to open, because I don't do that. My inbox would explode. And so it have to be open to queries. Um, they have to represent the genre that you're writing in, and you want to focus on that main bookshelf genre that we talked about. If I say I want mysteries, I may, I'll look at almost any mystery unless I say otherwise. I may prefer cozies over to military, but I have to make that clear to you. So you can send it if I say mystery. And if I tell you it's not right for me, I will tell you it's not right for me. You want to work with agents that work for agencies that look legitimate and have made recent sales and they're not featured on writerbeware.com, which is a website that focuses on scam agents and scam publishing houses. There's currently a lawsuit against Author Solutions by some authors um, that they're profiling right now. Um, and it's, it's invaluable information, but if you look on writerbeware.com and you are querying an agent who has had problems, either currently or in the past, you might want to double check that because they are not out to get agents. They are only out to help writers. Looks legit is hard to quantify. Um, but a, the way an agency looks legitimate is by selling books to reputable publishers on a regular basis. And you can tell that by Publishers Marketplace's deal section. Um, and you want to, you know, pick an agent who you think you'll mesh with. We're going to talk about that more, too. But, you know, you're going to have to talk to this person and trust this person with the business of your career and maybe even editorial feedback and idea generation and career direction. So you want to Talk to somebody you might actually like. If you see that they're like very, very negative on Twitter, and maybe that's not your, you know, your idea of fun, then maybe that isn't quite the best person for you. You should always, when you get to the point where they've offered you, you want to have you have a conversation with them, and maybe they're just one way on the internet and one way in real life. But take those things into consideration because this is the person that you have to talk to often about something as important as your writing career. So personality does matter.